Hey everybody, we're going to be doing an unboxing today and it's going to be of the Nintendo Switch. And yes, I actually was able to mount this to the ring light. And there it is. This is the Nintendo Switch OLED. I'm very excited. So, the first thing we have here is the OLED Switch. Now the cool thing about this, for those who play in tabletop mode, it has a flap. The memory card is going to be right here. I'm sorry this is angled to funny, but I've uh, got a lot of stuff in the background here. Oh, wait, no, I can't see that. Basically that's how it's going to look. Alright. So that's the OLED switch. Here's the Joy-Cons. Ready. We're going to do the other joy con left. Very nice, very clean. Reminds me of the PlayStation 5 with the white and black theme. Okay. That's the OLED Nintendo Switch. Yeah, y'all see the ring light there, huh? Pretty nice looking equipment. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, oh, Nintendo's given us instructions. Not that I need them, but that's okay. All right, you got your cables, HDMI. No, it's not 2.1, it's just regular HDMI. Another charging port with USB-C. Okay, uh, okay, hold on y'all. Technical difficulties for a second. There we go. And with every switch, in case you don't have money for a pro controller, they give you the thing to sit your Joy-Cons in. Personally, I don't really use this because I have a pro controller. And we've got the covers for the Joy-Cons when we play in handheld mode, and, or tabletop mode, I should say. And the dock. The one thing we're all excited about. The one thing that they should have had from the beginning. It's got two layers of protection on the dock. Alright. You would think that they would do this more so on the, the OLED screen, but that's okay. Here we go. The white Nintendo Switch dock. All right. That's the back. As you can see, uh, maybe. There we go. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can focus it. Ethernet port. Ah, I'm getting better at these videos. Okay. So that's gonna be what's behind the dock. That's the difference. Also, if I can angle it, do you see that right there? Those are the stoppers for the OLED screen. It's not just on this side. I believe it's on this section right here as well. That way you don't scratch your screen. Although some people are still recommending a dock sock. So I hope that helps you in deciding if you want to purchase a Nintendo Switch OLED. If you've got kids that are growing and you've got the original version. And you want to probably give them the one with the uh, plastic screen as opposed to the OLED screen. Cables will come out directly through here. And they're supposed to look nice and sleek. I usually have mine like this because I actually connect everything over here next to the uh, router. I think this is a very wonderful little machine. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed my unboxing video of the Nintendo Switch OLED. Thank you all. You all have a lovely evening.